Before we start diving into the magic of this plugin by Baby Audio and Andrew Wong, let me first give you a quick rundown of what the interface is all about. Let's start all the way in the top left corner. These are the color schemes that you can choose from. It's now in light. If you prefer, you can put it to dark. I like it in light. There's a little quick start uh, instructions feature that takes you by the hand and explains what all the different elements in the plugin are for, or you can choose to just watch my uh, course. The Baby Audio logo is for Bypass, or you can choose to uh, use Andrew Wang's name for Bypass as well. Then the preset system, you can load presets and save presets, and there's a quite a big number of presets available to you from uh, Andrew Wang himself, which are all very useful, and many of other artists. It's nice to see Venus Theory in there. So that is that. Then there's a couple icons that I will get back to later, like the effect state 0% off or on, uh, the erase chain, which basically inits the entire plugin, uh, the random lock, the randomize button, and the randomize MIDI assign. But like I said, those I will get back to later. Then there's the main button, the transition control. This, of course, controls all the parameters that you assigned to the big knob using these little yellow buttons. If you hover over it, you see in a cutoff, uh, motion on, motion off. And we'll get back to all that later, of course. There are seven effect slots. You can put effects in and they work in series. The signal goes from left to right, top to bottom. So the OTT uh, at the end here is actually the last processor or plugin, if you will. Then at the bottom, there's a mix slider, which can prove to be very useful later on and an output control, which uh, can sometimes come in handy. And that is basically the interface. Now let's go to the next video and have a look at all the different effects.